Good morning, everybody. I'm glad to say that I am headed down the interstate this morning because there's just about no other place that I would rather be. Although I don't have my camper on the back, I'm going to meet with someone in the next town over. But just being on the interstate, <laughs> excuse me, just being on the interstate really just brings something to life in me. The same feeling I had then it's like it's part of my destiny it's just part of who I am so I really need a road trip really need a road trip if there's any way I can fit one in this weekend I'm gonna do that absolutely just want to go out west but the bad thing is or head west the bad thing is if I start heading west then there's the huge temptation to not come back because I think I would prefer just living out on the road I know I would especially once once I start seeing the flatlands and the sunsets and all of that I know I'm not gonna want to come back for a little bit all right, it's time for you guys to know. There's a thing about me and rings, okay? When my brother passed away, I had a ring that was given to me by my mother-in-law at the time, who was very special to me. 
In two miles, take exit 424 for Tennessee 113 for Dandridge, White Pine. Got it. So, I had this ring. It was just an Avon ring, but it had a heart and a cross. It was very special to me. I had seen it in the uh, little Avon book, and she saw how much it just lit me up, so she bought it for me. Well, when my brother passed away, I could not walk away from the casket because I felt tied to him, and I just couldn't walk away. I felt like a part of me needed to be there with him, and to, you know, until the resurrection. And so I took my ring off that meant so much to me and walked up to the little, there's where they had the casket sitting over the hole and I took my ring and dropped it down in there so it would be beside my brother. Well, this ring represents some things in my life that you guys do do, you will not understand and I cannot explain it to you or tell you what it is. In half a mile, take exit 424 for Tennessee 113 for Dandridge, White Pine. Got it. And this bridge here, not this one, but the next one over, which I will be crossing in about 30 minutes to an hour. Take exit 424, then turn right onto Tennessee 113 South. On it. So... <laughs> This ring is going to find its resting place at the bottom. Turn right onto Tennessee 113 South. Of this lake that I have spent my entire life around the outskirts of this one. In a quarter mile, turn right onto US 70 West. I know it's very iconic in my videos because in my exit video, there's a picture of me holding a cup of coffee and you can see and you can see this ring in that exit video. Well, it's time for it to go. It's been on my finger a very, very long time, on my thumb. And God had spoken to me about getting rid of this ring and he knows why, it's between he and I. And I didn't do it. I was like, but I wanna keep the memories, you know? But, I received a very bad cut on my finger from this ring. And it has never, I have never had a cut on my finger from this ring. But it has a, it's very, it has a very thin edge where it's been <laughs> getting worn down. Don't get me wrong, I will be buying a replacement that will eventually find different meaning. Because everything in my life, pretty much, Everything in my life has symbolic meaning. Everything. Everything. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I will be getting a replacement. In half a mile, turn left onto Birchfield Road. Really? I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, I better pay attention here in a second, but it's gonna be going today, guys. I know you'll wonder why and I really can't say, but It's my... Turn left onto Birchfield Road. It's my sacrifice. My sacrifice of obedience. My little ring is going to be at the bottom of Douglas Lake. Hello, guys. <laughs> Continue on Birchfield Road for half a mile. Alright, so I'm going to get off here because I'm about to reach my destination and that thing is driving me nuts. So... I will talk to you guys soon.